this is molded. That's mold. This is not safe. Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be comparing Lunchly and Lunchables. For those of you who don't know, Lunchly is a super original product that has never been seen before. Some of the most brilliant minds of YouTube came together to create Lunchly, who really care about people and their nutrition and their kids, came together to make this epic product. Ugh, oh, I'm so sorry. I think I threw up a little bit saying that. None of them are foodies, nor do they give a shit. Wait, so it's just Prime and Feastables in a Lunchables? I got some plates here. First things first, let's just open them up, put them on a plate, see what they look like. I also have a panel of esteemed non-biased judges that will be doing a taste test, so stay tuned for that. I don't have the turkey stackums one because over the last month, four weeks, we have been looking for it nonstop. It sounds like the stores that we went to had never got them because no one had ever seen them. All right, so let's open these up. Oh man, this packaging. I like that it just says epic ingredients. We'll break it down. We'll see if these are epic ingredients. Oh, wow. Okay, let's get this going. This one does not say epic ingredients. I think how we're doing the first, is that the knife? These are molded. Okay, so these ones are supposed to be good until December, and we just got them from the store. It says used by December 8th, 2024, and today's date is October 16th. So these are supposed to be good for like another two months. This is molded. That's mold. This is not safe, especially like kids that are so young, they may not know what mold looks like, so they might just eat it. I saw a picture circulating about mold, but I didn't know if it was fake or, you know, I just had heard about it, but this is real, you guys. And there's mold. Why is there mold in the lunch lay? Oh my <laughs> God. Let me get it back. It's actually disgusting. Epic ingredients. This is mold in the cheese, and this is really unhealthy. You should not eat mold. I don't know if this is an issue in their recipe development or packaging. I think it's a packaging issue. The sealant here feels really cheap, like whatever is holding this on the top. It is not vacuum tight. I'm gonna make these pizzas anyways. The other thing is I didn't find a tear line. Maybe I'm, wait. Maybe did I just jump the gun? No, there's no tear line on this, like a little ketchup packet or something, so I had to use a scissor to open it. I don't know how kids at lunch would open this because they don't have scissors, so a tear line would also be a good idea, but it doesn't look like they can even master packaging something correctly, so I don't think getting into the details with them is really gonna help anything. Maybe they should just start with the basics of not serving moldy food to people. Oh, let's put the Feastables right by all the mold because this is the partnership that dreams are made of. I like my cheese moldy, bruh. It's so... Oh, it's so much mold. This is terrible. Oh my gosh. We put a lot of effort into this. I just want you guys to know I did not fake this. I was honestly going to go over nutritional facts and differences between the two with two physicians input and give you healthy alternatives to these things that are still affordable. I did not expect this. You can cover the mold with the pepperoni. So here is the pizza lunchly. And now we're gonna put together the pizza lunchable. I'm gonna wash my hands, just in case. Oh my gosh, this is wild. So here is the Lunchable, and it has a clear top so you can see inside of it, and you can shake it around, and I'm not seeing any mold, and you can also see on the bottom that there is no mold. This is exactly the same. Prime and Feastables in a Lunchables. And you guys, look, a tear top. There's a little dotted line on both sides so that kids at lunch can tear it. Now we can sprinkle our cheese on there and I'm not afraid of this cheese. Here's our little pizzas and here's our little crunch bar, adorable, and our Capri Sun. All right, so those are the pizzas. Looks wise, here are the two pizzas from Lunchables and Lunchly. Lunchly is covered in mold. I'm gonna ask you guys, which one would you rather eat? Which one would you give your kid? Both are a highly processed food snack, and one is extremely moldy, so I'll leave it up to you. All right, let's open the nachos. Leave no crumbs. This one said that it's good until December 16th this year. I don't trust this at all. I also know who made it. 
Oh, okay. All right, let's dump it out. Okay. And let's get the nacho cheese. Okay, come on, cheese. Okay, we've got both of them on the plate and the meals look pretty similar. The cheese dip looks a little different and then this salsa is much thicker and it almost looks like a tomato paste. I cook a lot of Italian food and pasta and I use tomato paste a lot and this just looks like the consistency of tomato paste, whereas this one's more watery. It's kind of like a paste salsa. I don't know if there's any mold here. I haven't taken a bite and I can't visually see anything, but they look pretty dang similar. Look at the chips. They look like they came from the same manufacturer. They're the same size. There's no difference other than ingredients. Wait, wait. wait. A drink? A drink? Some chocolate? Yep, some chocolate. And an entree. And an wait, entree. Wait, wait, wait. Before I start comparing the two nutritionally, I was just going to go over what makes a healthy lunch. This is according to the CDC and the USDA. According to the CDC, a healthy kid's lunch contains a variety of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, low-fat dairy products, and a variety of protein foods. These guidelines recommend that kids limit saturated fat, added sugars, and reduce sodium intake. The USDA says kindergarten through eighth grade lunches should be between 550 and 700 calories. So neither Lunchly or Lunchables contain fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and they both have high saturated fat, high sodium, and unnecessary added sugars, and contain processed meat as the main source of protein, which has been proven to increase your risk of cancer. Especially ultra-processed foods increase your risk of obesity and your risk of cancer. I want to show you some clips from two doctors on YouTube who are going to go more in-depth about the nutrition. The terms like health healthier or better for you get tossed around, I feel it's important to set the record straight. Throughout the Lunchly website and the social media promo posts, you'll see countless comparisons being made to Lunchables. To be honest, some of the comparisons are kind of cringe and don't make much sense to me. And in looking in the comparison, I'd be most interested in calories, which they have, protein, which they have, sugar, which they have, saturated fat, which is missing, and sodium, which is not only missing, but replaced by electrolytes. And unlike all the other macros, is only labeled potassium and only in the prime bottle in the kit, comparing it to the Capri Sun in the Lunchables. This is a pretty weird marketing choice to label electrolytes and food products. I just think if a company was truly interested in creating a healthier lunch kit for kids, the USDA standard should be the minimum starting requirements. Otherwise, we're simply propagating the problem even further. After Logan shared this image highlighting the nutritional contents and specifically calling out electrolytes compared to a Lunchable and how much better it was with all these electrolytes, I made this little joke about sodium getting rebranded as electrolytes because that's really what's happened. You don't need to drink electrolytes drinks just as part of daily life. There is no reason that the average kid that's going to eat a Lunchly needs to have more electrolytes. I really like these videos. I'm gonna link down below. I would suggest you go check them out, watch them. They go in depth about a lot of aspects about these and I think it is worth a watch. So it's up to you. Who do you wanna trust? Certified doctors or the dude bros on YouTube selling you moldy cheese? One thing I wanted to do for this video that I hadn't seen anyone else do is break down gram for gram the difference between the food, not including the beverages, the drinks. We'll talk about these later. And I just also wanted to tell people that this is an estimation. I did my very best to be accurate, but I just want to put it out there. I am not a nutritionist, but I am a foodie. And the reason I really wanted to show this is because in the promos, the dude bros are really talking about how this is so much better for you, healthier for you you and marketing it that way when they're both ultra processed foods. I really take issue with the way that they marketed Lunchly because they're splitting hairs between two ultra processed foods and they're cherry picking these categories as if they're super better for you. For example, in front of me, I have the nachos. So they're saying that their Fiesta nachos has nine grams of protein, whereas Lunchables has seven. And the calories is 360 and over here it's 450. But calories, this isn't even enough calories of what a kid needs at lunchtime. Both of these don't measure up. Not all calories are bad calories. Kids need calories and 
they aren't getting enough. I would say in this case, especially for kids, saying that this is less calories is not a brag. And down here, it says, see nutrition panel for total fat, saturated fat, and sodium content. So those are the things that we really wanna pay attention to. And the sugar here is less primarily because of the drink. Instead of having a Capri Sun with sugar, you're getting Prime which both are bad. Kids need water. This really bothers me because they're cherry picking and I'm gonna show on the screen the nutrition. We're gonna go over it. So we've broken these down gram per gram to compare them for each category. So we've broken down the pizza, lunchly and lunchables, the nachos, lunchly and lunchables, and the turkey snack, lunchly and lunchables. As you can see, some things are a little bit better for lunchly, some things are a little bit better for lunchables, but you're basically splitting hairs. They're both crap. Literally, if there weren't candy bars here, I couldn't even tell a difference. They're so similar, not just on the plate, but also in their packaging. Like, look at this. They're the exact same flavor combos on the plate. They look the same. Also, I just noticed even with the font of the branding, this L over here, the Lunchly L, it goes underneath the Y. And then look at the Lunchables. It's the same design. I guess Jimmy's used to taking L's. They literally ripped this brand off, just repackaged it, put a few differences in there, and then made another ultra processed piece of crap. When KSI, Mr. Beast, and Logan Paul say this is better for you, in my opinion, that is completely false advertising. It's unoriginal, it's the same repackaged Poop. All right, let's talk about prices. We're gonna compare them both and not only compare them, but let's also go over some healthy alternatives and the price associated with those as well. Both of these, Lunchly and Lunchables, were available at my local Ralph's. Lunchly was $3.99 and Lunchables was $3.79. And it got me thinking, what kind of other lunch could we make on our own for a similar price without having to cook anything? Like if you're a mom, you're on the go, you don't have time, you need to throw something together quickly. There's a lot of other alternatives that are much more healthy and around the same price point. Let's go over some alternatives. So in front of me are two different lunch options that I put together and both of them, there's no baking, there's no cooking involved. I got all the ingredients at Sprouts and I got organic things when they were available. Now this first lunch, over here, the total price was $3.21. We've got a string cheese, some mixed nuts, a banana, got our fruits and veggies, and then over here we've got snap peas, we've got some wheat crackers, and some organic popcorn. Not only is this one more nutritional than a lunch plate, but it is actually more affordable. And then over here, this meal, we've got some hummus, I love it, sweet mini peppers, whole wheat crackers, carrots, an apple, and some cottage cheese. And the price of this is $4.29. And if you wanna have a little dessert and add a little sweet yummy into a lunch, you can add like a natural fruit leather or a dark chocolate covered nut. Yum, yum, yum. Here's some other options I wanted to share with you. This is a company that is actually making something like Lunchables, but is actually better for you. This company is called Little Spoon Lunchers, and they are a little bit more expensive because they're using higher quality ingredients. They've got fruits and vegetables. If you want a variety, you don't want to think it through, and you want something that feels a little bit more like a cooked meal, not so much like a snack, this can be a great option as well. And they have a version of nachos, but the ingredients are a lot more healthy. There's 10 grams of protein. There's hormone-free, a four-cheese blend from Bee Crop Certified Tillamook, non-GMO mini corn tortilla chips, and a, oh yum, and a banana chocolate chip muffin made with ancient green barley flour for a sweet treat. So there are a lot of other alternatives out there, and they're also just really trying to be better for you, and I really, really appreciate that. Lastly, I wanted to share with you some pre-made affordable snacks. We found all of these at Walmart. The first one is $2.47. This is Snack Pack Turkey and Cheese. It's got broccoli, it's got a turkey sausage stick, it's got mild cheddar cheese, it's got carrots, we love it. The next one is from Taylor Farms Mini Meal. It is $3.97. 
It's the mini meal sweet and salty. It's got grapes, apples, peanut butter, Colby Jack cheese, crackers, and some dark chocolate. Let's talk about the two drinks really quick. I'm gonna throw to a quick little clip from Dr. Brian discussing these. If a parent came into my doctor's office, I would not recommend that their child drink this for lunch. This is essentially a lot of potassium. It's basically flavored coconut water. That's the number two ingredient is coconut water, and that's where you get a lot of that potassium. So yes, it has a lot of electrolytes, but is that good? What does that mean? Are they the right electrolytes? Are they too many? Are they too few? And when's the right time to consume them? So I had the team go out and get another lunch lunchly at the store. So this is like from the same store. And so let's go grab it and open it up. Here's the pizza one. Okay, so let's do this. December 8th, so it's the same date. Oh, okay, this one looks like there's no mold. You've got a 50, 50% chance of getting mold. It's like uh, gambling, which is something he's a big fan of. You're oh, very smart with your money. The guy who just away millions of dollars on YouTube videos is a gambler. Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for what we've all been waiting for. I've brought in the most unbiased panel to taste test and judge Lunchables versus Lunchly. All right, fellas, come on in. I've got the food in front of us here. I'm just gonna be sipping my tea. Now, which one do you guys want to start with? So we've got- Is that mushrooms on that? What is that? <laughs> Okay, I might want to eat those. <laughs> oh. The first one I opened had moldy cheese in it. But the second one didn't. So do you guys feel comfortable trying the second one? Uh, yeah. Because I didn't know, because it... I'll take one I for mean, the I team. I might prefer to try the first one, but... Okay, all right, so you guys want to start with nachos or pizza? Uh, neither. Um, <laughs> let's do nachos. All right, over here we have Lunchly Nachos. I'm even going to try it. I'll try it too. Ting! Okay. It's just whatever. It has like an aftertaste that's like, you know like after you throw it up and it's like a couple <laughs> minutes later and you have like that. It's thing. not that bad. Okay. You're biased, all right? <laughs> no, me! You're not a trustworthy I source. got paid money, you, you didn't, okay? You, I'm, I'm the least biased one you here. You cried <laughs> and all you had to go through was torture. All right, that's... <laughs> I got paid $50,000 to say that was good, actually. <laughs> all right, should I gotta try the salsa. Okay. Well, this is very thick. Dang. Oh. Oh, no, it's too late. Yeah. It's too late. It tastes tomato oh. pasty. Yeah. yeah, that tastes like an ingredient. That's not finished, you know? I would yeah. say that the cheese dip was much better than the tomato paste. I don't like that. I can try Lunchly. Lunchables. Lunchables. This is Lunchables. Lunchables. We know that one. Which one's which? Yeah, yeah, right? I mean, this is every baseball game I've ever been at. Yeah. It's that nacho cheese that they put on pretzels and oh. everything. I did have Lunchables when I was a kid, so I do have some nostalgia factor here. Oh my, I will have to say, this cheesy sauce tastes yeah. okay. The tomato paste is Sauce terrible. is much better in, in Lunchables. This is disgusting. This is just yeah. like that if you took paste, yeah. a can of tomato paste and just Literally. put it on there. That is not, that is terrible. I've actually never had pride in my life. Would you like one? I have an extra. Would I like one? Well, no, guys, but I am, I, I'm supposed to be here, so. <laughs> I should have had these before the marathon. I would have finished it. That's a joke. I actually did finish it. No pride needed. I gotta try the candy. I've never had a Feastable either. I've never had a Feastable. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, now, take a big, oh. take a big, don't bite me. I'm so scared. No, just, no, take a big whiff, like with your nose. That smells like Hershey's. That does smell like Hershey's. Yeah, it's just whatever. I don't know. Mm. I don't hate it. I'm not offended. Like. Bad YouTuber products, I guess. That is chocolate. Okay, you guys, now here's the pizzas. Ready? I'm uh, ready, thanks. cheers. Mmm. Mm. No, I'm Italian, this is offensive. <laughs> this is making me depressed. Okay, I'm gonna taste this one now. Tink. Meep. I think that one's worse. That one does taste a little better. No. But it's kind of like the better of the worst. All right, this is only five calories. So <laughs> that's the great part. It's artificially no. flavored, all of it. You guys are just gonna be dripping in potassium now. Is it supposed to taste like a melted popsicle? <laughs> yeah, this is bad. <laughs> Fun fact about Prime mm -hmm. is they're getting sued by the company who makes their bottles because they aren't selling enough. Why is he pushing Prime so hard? I think it's for like over $60 million and the sales uh... of Prime are down by 50% in the UK. So basically, Prime is tanking. So are we gonna try the blueberry pizza or no? <laughs> <laughs> the second yeah. one that I opened was not moldy, and they both had the same expiration date on them, and they were both same everything, so I don't know I'd what's going on. I'd be curious to see on. the 
plastic container side by side to see if it has the sealant. Like. So this is the one that was not moldy. And then this is the one that was moldy, but you can see the yeah. kind of like adhesive, like the glue is not here. Ooh, quality assurance issues, man. It's gonna cost you a lot of money, Jimmy. You can yeah. see that the one that was not moldy, the adhesive is there. Yeah, at the end of the day, I just think that they should get out of food. They're just ripping off other brands. They don't bring anything new and original to the table. Even the flavors they chose are exact ripoffs of Lunchables. And what really bothers me is that they have the financial resources to make a truly better for you Lunchable. Like if they wanted to fully reinvent this and make it actually good for kids, they could. This is like taking a Hostess donut and then just slapping your logo on it and yeah. being like, these are great and healthy and better for you. And oh my gosh, we've done these things, but it's cherry picking and you're swapping things that don't matter. A big thank you to my unbiased panel. Thank you, esteemed judges, for being here and trying Lunchly versus Lunchables. I think we really, uh... <laughs> it's about the friends we made along the way. One, One two, two, three, three friendship! friendship. <laughs> okay, good.